moving the vehicle, moving off. In this video, we will be looking at how to move the vehicle away, drive a short distance, and then pull over and park the vehicle. Here we can see that the car is parked a nice and close distance from the curb. For the driving test, this may also be referred to as a reasonable distance. And if you are just starting out learning to drive, to get into this position, it can be quite tricky. A good tip is to use reference points. They help us with our judgment. So if we look at the front windscreen, we can see that there is one point where the curb is lining up alongside the windscreen. This is our reference point. The curb is where the pavement ends and the road begins. So as we start to position our vehicle towards the park position, we can see here that the curb will move over towards our reference point. When these two positions align, we'll start to straighten the vehicle and come to a slow and gentle stop. The reference point will not be exactly the same for each driver. We must try to remember to always sit in our normal driving position because if we lean forwards or move our head to the sides, the reference point will appear to change. So just a quick recap, Whenever we are coming towards the curb, we'll have a look out the windscreen and as soon as the curb comes into the position where our reference point is, we're going to straighten the vehicle up and come to a slow and gentle stop. The correct positioning of the reference point is important for moving the vehicle and stopping the vehicle. We will use routines. For moving off from a park position, we will use a routine called POM. This routine, which stands for prepare, observe, move. To prepare the car, we need to put the clutch pedal fully down, then select gear one. Next, we set the gas, just above 1000 RPMs, which means we're gonna press the gas pedal gently until around 1000 RPMs or just above. Next, we need to bring up the clutch really slowly until we feel the biting point. This will be slightly different in each car, but it is normally around halfway mark of bringing up the clutch. My top tip for knowing that we have the biting point is that the engine noise will slightly change and we will feel a stronger vibration. If the position of the clutch is exactly at the biting point, then the car should remain stationary. When we start to raise the clutch up higher than the biting point, this is when the vehicle will start to move. And if the clutch pedal is too low below the biting point, the car will not be fully prepared for moving. Congratulations, we have now fully prepared the vehicle. It is important to continue to hold the biting point still until we have done our final checks and made sure it's safe to fully raise the clutch pedal and move the vehicle. Observations, six point check. When observing, we want to look all the way around the vehicle, check in all of our mirrors and the blind spots, when moving off from this position, the main risk and danger is from the right side. So in this area, we want to check last before moving off. Observations. Six point check. One, left blind spot. This is the area over our left shoulder and out the back left window. Two, left mirror we're looking out for any pedestrians or cyclists three out the front windscreen we're looking for oncoming vehicles that may want to park nearby four the interior mirror for any hazards that are behind five the right mirror for motorcyclists or any other vehicles that may want to overtake. Six, the right blind spot. 
This is deemed as the most dangerous side for any overtaking vehicles, and we must check this before moving away. Observations completed. We will now make a decision whether it's necessary to signal. I highly recommend using the signal, especially if there is anyone nearby. The use of signal will be beneficial and how we are assessed on our driving test. Moving away safely, making sure not to cause any traffic on the main road to slow, stop or swerve before moving off. To recap, we have prepared the vehicle. We have completed our observations and we are now on to the final part of the routine, which is to move the vehicle. Releasing the handbrake will allow the car to move away. We must make sure when we release the handbrake that we put the handbrake fully down. We will now bring the clutch pedal fully up. Remember to do this slowly. Being careful because if we raise the clutch too quickly, the car may stall. As the vehicle moves away, we gently steer away from the pavement and towards a normal driving position. This is around one meter from the pavement. Steering. Steering the vehicle to a normal driving position. First, we'll start by steering slightly right, then slightly left. Finally, straightening up the steering wheel. This will cause the vehicle to have a straight position roughly one meter from the pavement. Reference points, normal driving position. Reference points will help us to keep a safe distance from the left. Remember the reference point we used earlier for parking. This keeps us in a nice park position from the edge of the pavement. For a reference point for normal driving position, we'll mark this in a safe area. We'll be roughly one meter from the curb and we can check this by parking and securing the vehicle and exiting to have a look outside the vehicle. This can gain an extra perspective when exiting to look at the distance that we are from objects, providing it's safe to do so. And I highly recommend that we do this to gain a good concept of distances for our vehicles. Once you've returned to the vehicle, then we can mark this on the windscreen using a sticker or any object. Now that we're back in and we're driving, as we're driving, we can have a quick glance to the reference point. As long as any hazard is on the left side of this marking, we will maintain a safe distance from the left. Reference points are a excellent teaching aid and to only be used as necessary. Accelerating and increasing the speed of the vehicle. We can call the accelerator pedal the gas. And to increase the speed of the vehicle, we're gonna apply gentle pressure to the gas. Now that we're gonna slow down, we're gonna release the gas pedal. We're gonna look long and for a convenient place to pull over on the left. A convenient and safe place is next to raised curb and a good landmark to look out for are lampposts or trees, as often near these, we have raised curb. Avoid stopping too close to junctions. The required minimum distance is at least 10 meters, slowing and stopping the vehicle. When we're going to be slowing and stopping the vehicle, we will use a routine called MSM. This stands for mirrors, Signal, maneuver. Starting with our mirror checks. First, we're gonna check our center mirror to see if there are any hazards behind. Then we're gonna check our left side mirror, looking out for any cyclists or other hazards on the left side. Signaling left. This will show all other road users of where we're deciding to position next. Starting to maneuver the vehicle. 
To maneuver the vehicle to finish in a safe and correct park position, we're going to use the reference point. As we start to move the vehicle to the left, we're going to apply gentle pressure to the brake pedal and slow the vehicle's speed down to roughly walking speed. At this speed, we'll be able to have a look at the reference point. As the edge of the pavement, the curb, starts to align with the reference point, we're going to apply gentle steering to the right. Once we notice that the vehicle is in a straight position, we will straighten up the steering. If we're in a manual car, to come to a complete stop, we're going to gently push the clutch fully down and apply gentle braking progressively to come to a complete stop. Now the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Please remain keeping pressure to both pedals until we have made the vehicle fully safe. Firstly, start by securing the handbrake. Secondly, secure neutral by selecting it with the gear lever. Congratulations, we have now fully completed securing the vehicle and we can fully relax and release the pressure from both pedals.